Hello, Cancer, with a general reading for the sign of Cancer. So, so this reading could resonate with anyone who has Cancer strongly in their charts. My beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space. I welcome you here just as you are in this moment. Um, you are welcome here, and I'm happy to have you. Um, let's go ahead and see what the current energies are for this group of Cancer individuals. What are the current energies for this can group of Cancer individuals? For this group of Cancer individuals, what are the current energies here for this group of Cancer signs? What are the current energies here? What are the current energies here for this group of Cancers? What are the current energies here for this group of Cancers? What are the current energies? What are the current energies? What are the current energies here? This is energy. Ten of Pentacles. What are the current energies? All right. Ooh. Current energy, we start with Temperance, Five of Swords, the Devil. King of Swords. I feel like putting all these in one line. Let's see if I can fit them all in. All right, let's look at the next incoming wave of energy. The next incoming wave of energy that Cancer will be stepping into. The next incoming wave of energy. What is the next incoming wave of energy that Cancer will be stepping into? What is the next incoming wave of energy that Cancer will be stepping into? What is the next incoming wave of energy? What is the next incoming? What is the next incoming wave of energy? What is the guidance here for this group of cancer people? What is the guidance here? What is the guidance here for this group of cancer individuals? What is the guidance? All right. What is the guidance here? What is the guidance here? There we go. Okay, give me a moment as I get into the energies here. Just a reminder um, for everyone, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. Um, we are looking over a two about a two-week period of time here. Oh, I'd say two weeks to a month. Um, everybody is moving at a different speed, so that's why I'm a little hesitant to say seven to ten days, although for some of you it is seven to ten days. Um, this is the current energy, though, so this is um, how you should be feeling right about now. Um Well, we have some new understanding here. We have some new understanding, some new, uh, well, I don't know if it's new understanding, but there is a conflict here. You've been going through some kind of a conflict. You could have a conflict with a Capricorn. Um, you could have a conflict with an, uh, with an Aquarius or a Libra. You could have a conflict with a Sagittarius. There is some sort of conflict here. Um, but there's an energy around this of compassion, of patience, of tolerance, um, understanding that this could be a, a somewhat complicated in nature, um, and, and allowing time now, allowing time now for some sort of battle to be won or for some sort of, um, the Five of Swords is connected with the Devil energy. Again, there could be some conflict with the Capricorn, but... If we're going deeper into this energy, there has been some kind of a struggle here for this group of cancers with, um, could even be an illness. It could be a, um, some kind of oppression, some kind of, um, energy of captivity or constraint or, um, suppression of true self. Um, there could be a lack of moderation of, a, of an obsession or, um, some kind of behavior that self-medicates um, could be um, a drug addiction. But there is some kind of a conflict with something that is quite deep and could keep someone in a, in a lesser space. 
um, there, there has been a conflict and there needs to be um, some sort of healthy selfishness, I feel, that um, is, is being worked on. There's some sort of um, fighting this, fighting this machine or fighting this way of thinking or fighting this person. Um, there needs to be some sort of um, healthy selfishness that, uh, will, that will come to play in overcoming whatever the situation is that is leaving you in a place of um, stagnancy or holding on too hard or trying to control a situation um, that is really in a way beyond your control. There's something more powerful happening here. Um, and there's a need to fight this good fight, fight this battle. Um, but there's also an energy of patience and an energy of understanding and compassion for this. So I feel some um, kind of complexities here with how this group of cancer feels about this situation. Uh, it's, a, it's a need for self-advocacy, need for self-representation, fighting for self, protecting the self, advocating for the self. And sometimes when we do that, we have to actually go into battle of some kind, go into a conflict of some kind, um, drum up the, um, the, the strength and the courage to battle something that um, could really be um, feeling big. It could feel big here. I'm in these three energies right now. That's where I'm in right now. Uh, but again, there is an energy here of patience and understanding for this and patience for yourself, understanding and forgiveness for yourself, um, having the ability to um, find a sense of balance while there is this battle taking place. There could be some confusion of thoughts. There could be some conflicting ways of belief, ways of thinking about things. There could be people that are giving you advice that is conflicting with each other. So you could be getting um, really confused about which way to which way to handle this situation or which method to use or which way of thinking about this is the best way of thinking about it. Um, but there is some type of a conflict here that is being addressed at this time. And you're um, stepping into this with a sense of tolerance and compassion and understanding for whatever this is. So um, this could be a Capricorn that is going through something um, quite traumatic, or it could be um, some kind of fight that is in your midst, maybe within your family, within your workplace. Um, it, it maybe isn't even a battle that you're fighting, but a battle that someone else is fighting in the area that you reside. So it could be family members that aren't getting along or workplace coworkers who are, are, aren't getting along or um, community members that are that are struggling to find a resolution or a solution to some kind of uh, situation. Um, but But again, there is an energy here of compassion and patience as this is being worked through. And um, we have the King of Swords here. So this could be an Aquarius or a Gemini or a Libra energy. Um, there could be an Aquarius here or a, or a Libra who is part of this story. Um, and there could be a desire here to hold on to that person or to hold on to um, what they provide. There could be a, um, somebody here. You could be really seeing the big picture of this. And uh, making some making some important decisions now, um, uh, how you want to move forward with this situation. Um, you're you're needing to find some stability in this conflict, and um, you're needing to protect something here. Protect your heart, or protect your property, protect your home, protect your children. You're needing to protect something. You're seeing the big picture of this, and you're making some important. Um, decisions for how you're going to move forward into the future with this situation. Um, the King of Swords could be a judge or a jury or an attorney or anyone here who protects a situation, protects a people, protects a family or protects a community. There is an, um, an energy of fairness and equality. Um, so you could be trying to decide how to move forward with this conflict, how to be fair, how to be equal in this. Um, and you you could be trying to see the big picture of this, to dig deep into the details, to build um, the puzzle so that you can see the whole puzzle after all the pieces are put together. You can see what the big issue is, what the big picture is. The King of Swords is someone who is currently taking action 
Um, doesn't matter whether it's a male or female. This person is currently taking action to make an important decision, to find the big picture, to, to decide on something. And, and this King of Swords in this case is, I feel like gathering the bits and pieces of, of information to build the puzzle, to put the puzzle together so he or she can see the big picture of this, because there's something here that he, this King of Swords is trying to protect or to keep safe or to hold on to. It's kind of a complicated situation, but those of you who are in this sort of a situation will recognize that this story is yours. All right. If it's not your story, you will know right away that this has nothing to do with you. This is not part of your process here. So if you, if you're resonating with this, you will absolutely know if it's your story. Give me, um, please give me an energy here for the devil energy. Just help me confirm the devil energy here for cancer. Devil energy. Please help me understand the devil energy. Death, transformation. There is an ending to a situation here, perhaps. Some kind of an ending here to some kind of equality. There could be an ending here to some funding, an energy, an ending to a department. There could be um, a changing in the budget here or some kind of change in how um, a resolution is reached. So this is about balance. This is about fairness. This is about equality, equality in the workplace, equality in a relationship, equality in within the community. There's an ending here to some type of equality. Um, and so there's a conflict. There's some kind of a battle taking place or um, an argument taking place here. It's... So we have the Six of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. This could be some kind of a conflict within a community with the Six of Cups, um, within, a, within a family, with a family member, with a soulmate energy, with someone who's very much connected to you, someone that goes back to the depth of who you are. Um, this is about money. This is about security and protection and about legacy and family. It has a big community or family large family type energy around it. It is around money or material possessions or workplace or revenue or something here that revolves around money. And it does have to do with um, a soulmate energy or a family energy, um, community, heart and soul kind of thing. And there's a conflict here. Why is there compassion? Why is there patience? Why is there patience here? There, there is a willingness here or a, um, an encouragement for communication, um, back and forth, communicating, negotiating, a lot of action here. There is um, a willingness to listen and be heard and to speak and to communicate, or there is some sort of communication that's taking place now or patience while the communication takes place, having patience while it works itself out, working on this eight of wands, eight of pentacles, working on it. And it's powerful too. It's a big situation or it is a powerful situation or this situation has a lot of prosperity or a lot of promise, or there's something at stake here. That's, that's fairly big in size or important in nature. Okay, let's look at what is going to be happening in the future now with this situation. What's going to be happening in the future now? What will be happening in the future now? We have the King of Wands here. We have the Chariot Energy. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. Ace of Wands here with the Knight of Wands. Let me get one more energy. Right. So we have a king of wands here. This is a, could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. 
Um, it is someone who is very fiery by nature, very passionate, um, very powerful with his or her energy center. Um, could be an influencer, could be a pastor, um, could be a performer of some kind, a leader of man, a leader of an organization, somebody who is quite, um, has a lot of charisma, has a lot of influence, can draw people's attention to him or her. Um, this is a creator. This is an influencer. This is somebody who can revolutionize a system or invent a new product or um, present a new service. Somebody who is in front of other people, this person could be in the public eye of some, in some way. Um, it looks like there is some new action being taken here, um, some new passionate action. It's like somebody comes into this picture or somebody is already here in this picture who has an idea or, or takes a new action. It's an action. It's not a sword. So it's an action here with an ace of wands. It's new passionate action. Um, and it's happening quite powerfully. See, we have the chariot. We have the ace of wands with the chariot energy, which is your energy. So you're involved in this too somehow. You're involved in this too. There is you, Maybe the two of you come up with some kind of solution here. You could come up with some new solution, some new action that you're taking to help overcome this conflict um, or this situation. There, there is a new action, could be a new relationship or a new idea that you're taking action on. You're, you're in the chariot, you're in movement now. Um, and we also have the Knight of Wands, um, a very Sagittarius or a very fiery, you know, this King of Wands here is moving forward too. You're both are moving forward passionately with some sort of new idea or new relationship or new action. It's an action though. I keep saying idea. So it's almost like you have an idea and then you take action or someone comes forward with an idea and you take action. There's new action. There's passion here. There's a heart center here. There's heart centers here that are active and passionate. Um, it's full of fire and, and um, I don't mean fire and brimstone, not that kind of fire, but passion. Like the flame is burning powerfully within you. There is a need here to find a solution or to fix this or overcome this situation. And you're both here, both of you are taking action here to do this and moving forward very passionately into this in very an excited way or using all of your energy to do this or focusing solely on this. It's very powerful and passionate here. I do feel the person that's coming in is the one that has like this new energy or this new action. You're um, a slightly different color here, Cancer. So um, you might be bringing in a, do, a, a different way of doing things, a, a different alternative a method of, um, of implementation. Yeah, like you are a different color here. You could have somebody coming in with a solution here to help you or... There could be someone here that's more involved in this than you are, and you're coming in with with some sort of idea that you both take action on. It, it's kind of going to depend on what your situation is. Um, we do have the Eight of Swords here. So um, this has been something that you've maybe been struggling with for a while, or your department has been struggling with it for a while, or your family, or your relationship. Remember, this doesn't have to be a man. This could be a woman. This could be a man. This could be any gender. We're talking about the energy of the person. Um, same as the cancer sign. This is a man here. Looks like anyway, but this could be a woman or it could be a man. It doesn't, it's not the gender. We're talking about the energy, the personality, the quality of the energy and what the energy is doing. This is forward, aligned, powerful movement. No hesitation now being very balanced and moving forward. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords. So that tells me that um, there is a situation here that has um, kept you or kept the situation, this, this group of people or this department or this family or the relationship between the two of you. Um, there, there has been something that you haven't really figured out um, in the past how to move out of. You've been stuck in with within a within a rut so in a rut of thinking in a in a certain style of thinking or in a certain negative mindset or there could even be a situation around here that wouldn't allow you to move forward 
somehow you're breaking free of that in the future um, and moving forward in a different way with the Six of Wands, um, you're definitely seeing some improvement right away. There is some sort of indication of improvement here, and that gives you a lot of optimism for the future. Um, you are being respected in the way you're solving this or the way you're overcoming this. Whatever this Eight of Swords was that kept you um, in a place of weakness or oppression or just a hopelessness, um, that seems to have been broken now. That seems you, you seem to slip out from between those swords and ride forward in, 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 um, in a new way or with a new solution or, um, just kind of drumming up the passion within you. And that gives you enough energy to kind of, um, break through this old cycle of, of thinking that you've had. So this could have been, these could have been different ideas that you've come up with. Well, I tried that and that didn't work. I tried this and this didn't work. I said this, I implemented this. None of these things worked. I just don't know what we're going to do. And all of a sudden there's this new action that comes in or this new um, situation that's here that brings a new opportunity in and that allows that fire within you to spark again. And all of a sudden you have all this passion, you have all this energy and you have all this strength and you just kind of slide out from between these swords here. You're moving forward in a different way and people are seeing you do that. Um, you might not have done this kind of thing before with this Ace of Wands. You might not have done it before or experienced it before, um, but you're willing to give it, to give it a try. You know that you have the skills and capacities to do it, and you're willing to step forward, forward in this new endeavor in some way and, um, move forward in this because, um, I don't know if you have a whole lot of choice here. You, you quickly see signs of success here. Maybe not clear signs of success, but indications of success, messages from people that um, give you um, a lot of fuel here to really help you move forward. Um, there are indications of success here. Um, hopeful, hopeful or promising signs that you're seeing that this might actually work and it's giving you a lot of confidence as you move into the future. So that's what's happening um, in the next couple of weeks. Whatever this is for you, hopefully this is making sense, Cancer. Hope, hopefully this is making sense. All right, so let's look at the guidance that's coming forward for you. Looking at the guidance here. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords. And we have the King of Pentacles. Okay. I think that... The Page of Wands is the action, the new inspiration, the new passion and action forward, feeling like you have a way out, feeling like there's a solution here. I feel like this is you. There's guidance here to continue moving forward. Say what the truth is. Come up with the idea. Express yourself. There is something important here um, that needs to be said, that needs to be done. It might not be easy for people. It might make people angry or might surprise people. People might not like it. Sometimes the Knight of Swords comes in, that energy comes in, and people are sometimes scared of it or anxious about it or surprised or angry by it. Um, but so, there's action here that needs to be taken. We have the King of Pentacles here. And for some of you, this is a person. This is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, this is a person that is a business person, um, very much in action. Doesn't have to be a man. It can be a woman. Um, but this person is taking action in his or her own life to build their um, bank account, to build their retirement account, to build their company, to bring in revenue, to to maintain their property and their estate and their portfolio and their investments. They're making actions to um, secure their home and their legacy and their money and their bank accounts and their wealth. Um, so there could be someone who is um, maybe becoming, being a little selfish or needing to understand a point of view that they're not seeing. Maybe they could be just a little bit overzealous in their efforts to bring in revenue here. What is this King of Pentacles? Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles here. Um, this is that legacy, that wealth, that abundance kind of energy. Here's a Seven of Swords flipped over. So I have a feeling like this person could be slightly zealous or self-centered in this journey that's requiring some kind of correction here. It's a sun flipped over. Very powerful person. 
Very powerful person, very optimistic, very charismatic, very fiery, very happy. Then we have the Seven of Swords coming out with the Two of Swords in reverse. So um, this person is is could be being selfish or revising what they're doing or taking from others and not seeing it, not noticing it, not knowing what's happening. This person could be in their own reality thinking everything's great, doing what they need to bring in their abundance, feeling good about the world, feeling happy and optimistic and excited. But in reality, there could be something happening here with the Seven of Swords that could be hurting others, could be taking from others, um, could be, this person could be not really understanding here, not seeing this with the Two of Swords, not making the right decision here. Um, could be doing something that's unwise or something here with the Two of Swords. And there's a need for some truth to come in and be said. There's need for some type of um, truth and expression here that might cut a little bit. It might hurt. It might hurt this person's feelings. It might um, stir up some kind of a conflict here. There could be a betrayal here that's happening. Um Maybe this person isn't deciding. They're not deciding on something. They're just moving forward and they're not sharing or they're not, they're, something is not fair in what they're doing. It's like everything is working in their, in their, in his or her own benefit. And something here is not right. Something here is not right. Something's not right. Some truth is not being shown something is being kept hidden the wrong decision was made or in public something could have been announced something's great something's doing well something's really successful but in the background something completely different is happening here somebody could be lied to or being lie or lying about numbers lying about the success um, of a business or the profit of a business or something interesting all right cancer i am going to take a little break here and move to the extended so i'll take a little rest um and then i'll move into the extended and i'm going to look deeper into um several of these energies i i am i want to dig deeper into this king of pentacles and i want to look deeper into the king of swords I want to look deeper into this devil energy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at this Knight of Swords. So this is what I'm going to do in the extended. I'm going to dig into um, this Knight of Swords energy. I'm going to dig into this King of Pentacles to see what his story is, his or her. I'm going to look into this issue and um, what the King of Swords, this this big picture, I'm going to look at the big picture and see if I can get a little bit more information about the big picture. After I'm done with that, I'll look at the people who are around you and their intentions as you move into the future. All right, so that's the goal of the extended reading. Um, Cancer, it has been a, a real pleasure. Um, this is an interesting situation. I hope this reading has helped you. I hope it's resonated with you in some way. And um, I wish you all the best. This is a very special week, the last week of the year, um, the last month of the year, the last week of the month, the last month of the year, the last year of the decade. And it is a very special week for many cultures and many countries and many ethnic groups around the world. Um, I hope that you are able to find meaning and a connectiveness in this important week. Thank you all very much, um, Cancer. It's, it's always a pleasure to read for you.